Hi, my name is Vicky Florio. I'm a visitor assistant here at the ICA. I'm also a ceramicist, printmaker, and mixed media artist, and today I'm here at Maud Morgan Art Center to teach you a thing or two about clay processes. Once a piece of clay has gone through the wedging process, which disperses the wet clay and gets rid of air bubbles, you're ready to begin other ceramic techniques such as coil building. Sometimes, artists and potters create a slab base before they begin coil building. This is done by rolling out a piece of clay flat with wooden rods and dowels. The clay can then be cut to any size. To make the coils, roll the clay by working outward with both hands from the center. Complete this process repeatedly to make as many coils as you want to use before you start building. Before you can attach the pieces of clay together, you must make sure you score and slip first. Scoring is achieved by making several tiny marks on the part of the clay you want attached. Slipping is using a liquefied clay body as an adhesive or glue to bind two pieces of clay together. Then you can begin the building process by stacking the coils on top of each other on the banding wheel. The coils can be blended together for strength. Once you finish building your piece, you can refine and polish the form and create any shape you want. All of these steps are repeated as you build upwards. Now you know a thing or two about how coil building is used. Check out other Contemporary Art 101 videos to learn more.